Union coming up for 18 minutes to 11 on this Tuesday morning. Now, National Assembly Speaker Tandi Modise and an Afri Forum prosecutor face each other in the Potterstrom Magistrates Court in the Northwest today. Modise is charged with animal cruelty. Now, you'll remember the NSPCA found neglected animals at her Northwest farm back in 2014. Pigs were eating the carcasses of dead pigs. NSPCA Inspector Andres Fentes said it was the worst case of farm animal cruelty he'd seen in 20 years. Mangoba Mkunu is a tracking the story for us. Let's find out what's happening there at the moment. Mangoba, a, a very good morning to you. So just give us a, a little bit more about this case and what is today's uh, uh, case about? What is today's appearance for? Well, Yveka, we are here at the Port of Stone Magistrate Court where the trial uh, against a speaker, Tandi Modise, has just began. She is facing six charges of animal cruelty relating to the incident in 2014. But just to give you a bit of a background, this dates back to 2014 when the National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty Against Animals uh, obtained a warrant to inspect her, uh, her premises of Modafontaine Farm. And this is after it received a tip-off from some of the neighbors who had said that some of the animals in a farm had been neglected for about two months. So the NSPCA going to inspect the farm in 2014 and actually discovering that there were dead uh, carcasses in that farm. About 78 of those uh, animals had died and in fact 58 of them, we understand, were pigs. And uh, the situation was so bad, Yveka, to such an extent that some of the pigs, we understand, had started cannibalizing on the rotten carcasses of uh, the, uh, some of those animals. But uh, we do also understand uh, that at the time, several of those animals, about uh, 160 of them, were euthanized due to the poor condition in which they were found under. So what the NSPCA had found at the time is that there was gross neglect of those animals in terms of the fact that they were starved, they did not have water that was provided to them. And that at the time, uh, Tandi Modisa saying that she was not responsible for this, in fact, pointing fingers to her farm manager, who she says was responsible for caring for these animals. But he, in turn, also denied any responsibility, saying that, in fact, he also was not paid for about two months and that he did not have any food to feed these animals. So you recall that this matter was taken up with the National Prosecuting Authority, but it decided not to go ahead with the prosecution in this particular case. And that's where Afri Forum then came in in 27, uh, uh, being approached by, by the National uh, uh, Society for the Prevention of Cruelty Against Animals to take this matter to court. And, uh, of course, today this is what we're seeing, that case playing itself out in court. The NSPCA saying that it believes that Tandi Modise has a case to answer for animal cruelty and uh, today she has pleaded not guilty to those charges. So where we are right now, Yveka, is that uh, the Afri Forum's prosecution unit has now called in an officer who photographed the scene to give evidence on what it is that he saw when he arrived at the farm. And it's detailed the number of photographs that he's taken, which include those uh, dead carcasses. And then the defense is now uh, questioning him about what he, it is that he had found on the scene. But, Mankoba, what, what is it that, that Afri Forum wants to see happen here? Are, are, are we looking at a jail term? Are we looking at a fine? What exactly, if, if you have um, you know, that kind of insight there or, or what the experts are saying, what would be the possible punishment for something like this? Well, Yveka, certainly uh, one would expect that they would want a harsh sentence uh, to make example on this particular matter. But in terms of what it is exactly that we're seeking, that's an answer that we're still hoping to find from uh, our forum when we do chat to them uh, later on. But uh, in terms of the case, they're quite adamant that uh, Tani Modise has a case to answer. They uh, say that they have a prima facie case against her and believe that she should be held uh, personally responsible and liable for the deaths of those animals. All right, believe it there for now. Thanks very much. Uh,